Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I just want to make a video showing you the proofs which convinced me that I wasn't on a ball 8,000 miles wide. There's a lot of folk talking about it recently on, on online media, on Facebook, on YouTube. And compared to a few years ago, there's more people asking sensible questions. A few years ago, you just got abuse for talking about it. There's a lot of people sort of asking sensible, normal questions now. So it kind of got me back to thinking about what, why, why I think the way I do and what was the evidence to make me think I don't live on a boat. So I just want to share with you two observations which I remember back in the day made me realise and say this truth. So this first one is an observation from America to Canada and done by an online acquaintance called Jenna Friedo. I'm just going to play it to you and then explain the tool which is used afterwards. So here's the observation. So did you say that there? The boat, as we were taught at school, the boat disappears over the horizon. And that shows us it doesn't disappear over the horizon, it just goes away from our view. There you go, that was that one. And that was over 30 miles. So we have a, an app here, which I use called an, earth, called an Earth Curve Calculator. This is good and true, it's been checked by everyone looking into this. So if you put the, the punch the numbers in, so let's say Gemma is, Gemma, sorry, is six feet tall. <laughs> she might smile at that, but she's not six feet, but let's say she is, give her an advantage. The distance 30 miles so this will calculate the drop on the horizon as shown below here on the curve so if you're six feet high a distance over 30 miles your target will be 486.15 feet below the curve so 30 miles away that target should be 486 feet below the curve clearly we can see on the picture this isn't below any curve, it's straight ahead of us, directly in front of us, there's none of it actually in. We can't see a little piece here because of refraction, but it would all be visible, it's there. Okay, so that was the first one that got me really, really questioning at heart. So then I went on to look at, well, what's the furthest photograph ever taken? And then I discovered this one, which is the current world record, or was the world record, I don't know if it still is, 443 kilometres. Um, 275 miles that is from that point to that point it's actually it's the Pyrenees to the Alps and that's the world's longest distance photograph 443 kilometers 275 miles so if we put those numbers into the earth curve calculator your eye height now it's that mountain was that mountain is actually 9,000 feet tall where it's taken from you can't get you're not at the highest point but let's just put the highest point in so you're looking up from 9,000 foot 
9,000 foot target distance, 243 kilometers, which is 275 miles. Ask it to calculate, and it says that that object in the distance, there's the picture there, over 275 miles, the distance, the object should be 16,813 feet hidden behind the curve. So you shouldn't be able to see any of, no one from either side of that picture should be able to see anything of the other side. Yet it's clear. If you look, and if the picture was brighter, we'd be able to see right down. If we could zoom in a bit more, you would actually be able to see down to ground level there. So once I saw these two, that was it confirmed for me that I'm not on a ball 8,000 miles wide. It, I'm not saying I could be on a ball 8 million miles wide. That would be true then, but I can see using these two distances, using as a simple verifiable sight exercise that it isn't possibility that I don't, that I live on a ball 8,000 miles wide. Right, that's it. I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, for anyone sort of on the fence or thinking about it. If anyone thinks I'm wrong or incorrect about any of that, let us know below. We all make mistakes. Maybe I made one. But um, that's all for now. I just wanted to share that one. I'll see you in another month or two for another video. See you all later. Bye-bye.